All right, so next up is number two in the organization. You would all thought number two would be Saix, but no, number two is Zigbar, which is definitely a weird choice because Zigbar is just kind of like a one-off organization member. So it's kind of weird how he's Zemnis' right-hand man, even though Saix fulfills that role better. It makes sense in future installments, though. Anyhow, Data Zigbar. He is another fight that got a whole lot nastier when he became a, a Data form. Uh, specifically, he'll no longer open the fight by doing the first person, like, gotcha now, thing. instead he'll immediately change to a new backdrop and start just blasting you. He shoots way faster when in the Data form, so it's a lot harder to block and dodge his laser blasts, and on top of which, he now no longer ever has to reload. Yeah, this is one nasty fight. Data Zigbar. Oh man, Data Zigbar. Just you watch. You really shouldn't have betrayed us. I I'm sorry! <laughs> you guys didn't have the cookies you promised me. Yeah, see how fast he shoots now. You can also use the Hero's Crest Keyblade here and deal more damage with your finishers. <laughs> I always used to think when he said, New Backdrop, I always thought he was saying, No Backtop! Just chalk it up to his weird surfer dude for uh, Donald's like, what the heck? Where'd you come from? This is also harder to avoid because he shoots more rapidly. But it's still the same thing. Use warp snipe as a reaction command to make him come down. But he's just hard to damage. Go final form. Final form, just the air combos are gonna deal a lot of damage against him. Even though he's not very susceptible to final form Pyraga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, now we're talking! <laughs> You're actually damaging me now. Okay, this is his desperation move, which is even harder to avoid. We're gonna go out of final form. Instead of being able to run around the end at the end, we gotta use Super Glide. That's still one of the coolest uh, desperation moves, though. Let's see how you dance. Thankfully, he does still pause every once in a while. Even if he doesn't have to reload, he'll still, like, take a pause. Oh boy! This again! Thankfully, he goes counterclockwise, so he can just follow him at the beginning to avoid all that. Otherwise, we get super light. Duck Flare! Duck Flare! Duck Flare is super good against Sigmar. Oh man, he's just gone. Oh, he's he's waiting to change the scenery, isn't he? Yep. I thought he was gonna go desperation move again. I guess not. Oh no, <laughs> he's sniping us again. Whew, that was risky. Almost ran out of HP. Oh, 
Tom Ziggy, he's a tough fight for sure. Let's go final form there. Take that, Sigmar. Final Form definitely helps against this fight. It's just hard to damage him without Final Form, because he constantly warps away from you and just shoots you from a distance. And Mega Duck Flare, if used properly, can also definitely help. Except he just disappears completely when he wants to change to a new backdrop. And we get a defense boost for beating Zigbar as well. Yes, yeah, so all the Absent Silhouettes, the guys from Chain of Memories, they give out uh, Lost Illusions. Axel and Roxas give magic boosts, and then Zaldin, Saix, and Zigbar give defense boosts, and then Luke's Sword and Demix give AP boosts. Yeah, I would also put Zigbar right up there with Zaldin for one of the hardest data fights, even though I didn't die against him. It's a tricky fight, it's just, it's really vulnerable, it's hard to whittle his HP down, because like I said, he constantly teleports away from you, and like, he really doesn't ever give you a break. Although his desperation move is probably, it's one of the coolest looking, and it's definitely one of the most intimidating, but once you know how to deal with it, it's one of the easiest ones to deal with. So literally just follow him around and then glide around all his bullets. Yeah, that's Data Zigbar though. It's a, that's a fun fight. Again, still fun, but very difficult. <laughs>